All right. <laughs> Hi, uh, we're back. To I have another question for my dad that is sound oriented that I have questions about. Wonderful, and I get to uh, be put on the spot by my daughter, and we'll do another episode of uh, Sammy Asks Pop. <laughs> <laughs> good naming, good naming. Okay, so in one of the last videos we did, something that came up that I was really curious about was you mentioned how sound, how cables are made and how they interact so that they don't transmit sound that they pick up from the air while they're just sitting there. Kind of. Okay. And I just, what? How does, how is that even happening? How is it that cables are picking up just sound, just randomly that they aren't attached to? That's wild. The antenna thing. Okay. Well, that's not the question I thought you were going to ask me. What? Yeah. What question were you thinking I was going to ask you? How does the sound get from the <laughs> air into the wire? You misunderstood <laughs> yeah. me. Uh -huh. Okay, well... Can we do that one instead? Yeah. All right. Do you want to start over? Uh, no, I don't okay. know. We can. Um, <laughs> do you know how the sound gets from the air into the wire? No. Wait, what are we talking about? I thought that that was my question. What? How does the sound get from the air into the wire? Right. That is your question. I just, I didn't realize... That... I, like I was talking more like I was thinking more like microphones. How do microphones work? How do speakers work? Also a great versus... question and I would love to talk about that as well. Okay. How about so, we um... do can we do both? <laughs> yeah, let's do uh, both. Let's do one and then the other. Yeah. Let's do the one. I'm first interested of... in both, so Okay. Yeah, when you said how does sound <laughs> get from the air into the wire. You jumped on that one. I yeah. was it's fine. Yeah, that's great. How does uh how does sound get from the air into the wire? Let's talk about that. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, because this time um, I tried to find out your question ahead of time yeah. so that I could prepare for it and that way I could have stuff ready. Uh, but now I have all the wrong stuff ready. That's okay. I mean, this is a really interesting question as well. Okay. And I would love to know about this as well. Um, I took some notes. Um, first of all, Sound, what is sound in general? What, what, what differentiates sound from uh, an earthquake? Is an earthquake a sound? We talked about that yeah. before, right? Yeah. So getting into that kind of refinement of it, sound is pretty much the audible vibrations that we perceive through our ears. Okay, yeah, right. And when we did that before with the speaker, the 40K, mm -hmm. those were not to say vi vibrate, they were vibrations. It was little things vibrating and putting 40K. But it wasn't quite our ears. And we were perceiving it, but it not by our ears. Yeah. So we didn't necessarily hear, hear it. We Even though it was causing it. something happening that we were picking up on. Yeah, we were able to perceive it, yeah. but not Just like hear we would it. with an earthquake. Just like, exactly. We're able to feel it, mm -hmm. but not, we're perceiving it, but not hear it. So yeah. if we define sound as audible vibration, uh, through the air or through a medium that we hear through our ears, um, that we that we perceive through our ears, that would be kind of what sound mm -hmm. is. Um, how does the audible? How does this invisible world of vibration, uh, whether it's mechanical that turns into the air that comes to us? turn into the electricity yeah. and the wire. Yeah, which is also insane to me. Because um, yeah, yeah. Cause earlier you had asked too, it's like, how is it able, like a microphone, to pick up all this weird complexity? How does yeah. it even know? Yeah, how does it how even know? know Especially when it just comes down to like the wires picking up a negative pulses and positive pulses, and then somehow we get our voice, and then somehow we also get music. And like, what? How is that even possible? It's insane. Yeah, because we hear it in the natural environment. How does it get into the wire? How does it and then get how does it get back there? out of the wire into the speaker? How does the speaker reproduce it? How does all of that information go down this tiny little thing? Okay, so to look at that, I want to go back 120 years Ooh. and look at, you know, we're, we're familiar with like um, iPods. Uh-huh and portable music players before that there was a walkman mm -hmm. and you know it was kind of a big revelation to have portable music yeah. that you could travel around with mm -hmm. um you know other than the radio 
music you were in control. You could put a song, you could play a song you want to hear. Go to yeah. the beach, not attached to wires. What we may not remember or realize or think about is back in the late 1800s, 1890s, 1900s, yeah. they had portable music players. <laughs> and I just happen to have one right here. So... So he's pulling out an old box, gramophone. This is the gramophone, and it is, what's the date say on there? Patented May 4th, 1886, and again in the 1887, and again in 1888, and also 1890, because apparently patents are weirder back then. By the Columbia Phonograph Company in, on... Um, Oh, three different addresses, 1155, 57, 59, <laughs> Broadway, New York, New York. So let's go ahead and see what this gramophone box graphophone. is. Graphophone, it says graphophone. Oh, graphophone, you're right, graphophone. I'll turn it around. Oh, I'll turn it this way because we, we can open this up. And we have here a machine. Yeah. And it's got all kinds of cool name plates. I really like these name yeah, plates. Yeah, those are really beautiful. Um, so. <clears throat> hey, do you think I could go running with this? Uh, yes, this is a po yeah. This is a po it's obviously <laughs> portable because it's a handle, but it is something you could bring to the beach. Yeah, yeah. And play some music. So like if I was going to like, hey, let's go listen to some music. So now this, I'll give that to you. That's Edison Gold Molded Records. Echo all over the world. Catalog number. Wow, this is and crazy. And there's a picture of Tom. Mr. Tom, he was <laughs> kind of a not nice guy. He stole a lot of people's patents. I learned. Yeah, he took credit for everything. He wasn't great. Um, but I guess it's nice that we can say everything was created by one man. So this is a cylindrical record before they had records on flat plates. But this is kind of the same idea as a record. Exactly. Which also, good question for later day, because still really wild how records work. Well, we can actually get into that a little bit. <laughs> so here's one that broke. We could use one that's good, but um, you can see the little grooves on there. Yeah. Now, if you really want to see the grooves on there, I got the little microscope. Ooh. And I I'm can really take bad at using this thing. a picture of that. Yeah. What we can do is check this out. We can take a camera and go ahead and set that down and hold that right against there real carefully. Whoa, that's and way better than I got with my eyes. Wow. And you can see wow. now each one of those. Now it's dragging across. See the little bumps? Yeah. How close those are together. If you were to take a cross section of those, they would actually show the waveform like we see on the oscilloscope. No. So they're mechanical bumps. Oh my god, that's crazy. So those, so those are a physical representation of the waveforms that they're recreating. Exactly. How did we figure this out? <laughs> that's okay. insane. Now, the question is, how do they? Well, so we can you can see those, right? You can yeah. see the bumps. Um. They didn't really need to totally figure it out, like where those go, yeah. because the way they would make would them is recorded. they would record it yeah. and it would double the groove. So they actually have a band play mm -hmm. and they'd have like a big flat disc and the music would get into the disc and yeah. then that would go to a needle and it would cut into a piece of wax so and crazy. they would copy these wax things. I don't think like my brain's ever going to fully understand how like wavelengths are just like electrical displacements in a way like that become... Well, let's go farther. So <laughs> the way this machine works mm -hmm. is not unlike a phonograph. This right here, do you see a little yeah, needle there? Yeah, a little needle, Listen. yeah. Yeah, it's really amplified. Or oh, amp no, let's see. If we go, amplified. this is not the complete unit because while you're traveling, you're also going to need one of these. <laughs> that makes it a little now, uh, more cumbersome to carry. Now listen. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Okay, so now. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Okay, That's so now crazy. that has got a little bump, like a little needly bump. Mm -hmm. It's not really a needle because it's kind of rounded, and it's attached to a flat plate. Mm -hmm. And that flat plate, which is this, is on the other okay. side of this. So we can actually take this off. Let me see if I remember how to take this off here. And uh, here, there we go. So there's the little needle. Yeah. There's a little arm. There's a little needle that rides. And when that rides on those bumps, it wiggles this Which piece of plastic here. Which like here. a speaker, kind of? Yes. And then it wiggles that. And when this moves in and out, it puts little puffs of air Which is like the here, diaphragm of a speaker. Which then puts puffs of air there. 
So you can. That's so crazy. Okay. So. So this is like an amp. Yeah, it's a, it's a, <laughs> it's an acoustic amplifier yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, let's remember how to put this back in. So now, what we'll do? Listen to some music. Listen to some bops. Yeah. So now we'll put the turn. We'll put the record on. Let's see if I remember. And we'll set this back at the beginning of the record. Uh -huh. And we'll wind it up. I bet that the history of how we moved from this to records. Oh my is God, these things really are just amazing. Um, this is the speed control, and this is a whole other adventure because you'll see those things yeah. spin, and as they spin, centrifugal force, centripetal force um, moves them outward, and as they move outward, they put pressure on a plate. It acts like a brake. So the faster yeah. they spin, the more yeah. it breaks. I remember you telling yeah. me about that when you got so this let's go thing. Ahead and it's fired up. Crazy. I go ahead and pull that lever. Uh, I might have put it the other way. Let's try over here. Okay. Try that. Hold on. Hey. Something's wrong here. You probably just didn't connect it all the way hmm. proper. Yeah, it's a little sticky right now. This might... You know, I think... I know it's I know part of the problem here. This blue record I think is one of the newer ones. Let's grab one of the I think these black ones might be the right ones. There's different ages and they might be in the same mm -hmm. one. Oh. <laughs> so we could bring go to, Incredible. Now this is your pause button. And there's your on-off switch. Um, so you go to the beach, I could bring, uh, yeah. we could go out there and hang out, I could bring a nice backpack full of these things, I could play one song at a time, we could have a good old time. Is this, so is this one song? That's just one song. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> crazy. And, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. that's crazy. That's cool. So... What's interesting about this is here's something where we have mechanical vibration. Mm -hmm. They've recorded it. It goes onto this. It's being amplified and it's coming back acoustically. It's not mm -hmm. ever going into a wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, so, got it. Cool. I can see how this is relating. <laughs> so now, let's go ahead and go farther and um, see what happens if we go into a wire. Mm hmm. For this, Ooh, got a little bit of an upgrade. Also, something that uh, I could take to the beach. Yes, this is <laughs> something you could take to the beach. So, for this, what I've done is I have a pair of headphones mm -hmm. and I have a speaker, but there is no amplifier. Mm -hmm. There's okay. no electronics. Yeah, yeah, right. It's all just a speaker and amplifier. Now, since coil of wire mm -hmm. immersed in a magnetic field and we can do that again some other day we can take yeah, a coil of wire I and wiggle it and listen that. to it yeah. but here we get a space we know there's a magnet here yeah. we know there's a coil of wire here coil of wire in a magnetic field like a microphone will create a voltage mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and a voltage applied to a coil of wire immersed in a magnetic field will create a motion yes so theoretically if i move this speaker and this speaker is wired into those headphones yeah you should be able to hear this speaker. Yes, very well, very well. Yeah. You can hold the headphones up to that oh, thing yeah, there. Oh, good idea. This farther away. Now move the headphones away from the speaker so they can. Let's try. Let's try this. Sorry, I don't. Here, know. you scratch the speaker. Okay, yeah. And then You're I'll better do the at placing yes. things. Okay, so I'm putting the headphones right at it. And I'll move the headphones over. And so what we have here is basically a game of telephone yeah. with the two cups and a string, uh -huh. except we're going from mechanical motion to wire mm -hmm. 
to back to mechanical motion by using transducers. Yeah. Without ever using an amplifier. Yeah, it's like those. It's like those things at a park. At the park, the you speak into them. And... Yeah, or you can do that acoustically. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's really interesting. So you can do that acoustically. You could just talk into a tube and have the air yeah. go through. Yeah. Or you can oh. talk. Have you you've done telephone with a cup? Where you have I a, haven't. Oh, we got. I do. grew up in an age too old. <laughs> we had real telephones. <laughs> so you can take a paper cup or a plastic yeah. cup, tie a string to it, and go far away, and then talk, and it'll go to the string and come out the other side. How no does the here. string know to take the signal? <laughs> exactly the same as that thing. It moves the diaphragm. So what happens mm -hmm. is that little end of the cup is wiggling. Oh, and so it, it has to string. be taut. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, I'm okay, so that. that's crazy. So, what we've done is we first of all we've looked at the acoustic energy mm -hmm. and the mechanical energy. Now, we can talk about transducers. Mm -hmm. Transducers are something that converts one form of, ener of energy to yeah. another. So, um, I learned that in my phonetics class. Okay. <laughs> uh, and for audio, we deal with transducers that take physical energy, yeah. motion, mm -hmm. and convert it to electric. Mm -hmm. and reverse that converts electro electrical energy into motion and a mm -hmm. microphone does one a speaker does the other but they both go both ways yeah uh, there's many types of transducer transducers there's um um there's thermal transducers where yeah. it measures it takes a temperature and says if it's this temperature it creates at this voltage if it's this temperature it does that okay. voltage and it acts and it can act like a, uh, yeah. how a thermometer a digital thermometer might work mm -hmm. wow got it yeah uh, that makes sense. Um, so let me look at my notes. Um, vibes, transducers, energy, pressure level. Um, preserve, modify. Now, what else do we got in this adventure? So we kind of know, now we can see how it's converted. Yeah, yes. And the, really the, the mystery of the conversion is, or the real question that baffles is why does a coil of wire moving in magnetic field create energy that, yeah. and that i don't know I, that, that we're gonna have to <laughs> look at uh, that's magic now that's um that's um outside of my realm of yeah. knowledge i know that it happens it happens but mm -hmm. yeah okay so we got that element so okay so we have that and it's we're gonna run out of time okay so we, you know what we should do we should do another we'll do a follow-up to this okay we'll do we got a lot one. of good basics yes we got the basics okay um cool well um check back in for part two i guess yeah 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 cool all right thanks sam yeah thanks dad cheers, cheers.